Well, these two guys right here are looking to help lead Providence to a fifth straight NCAA tournament appearance in 2017-18. Kyron Cartwright, the court general, and Alpha Diallo are with us here on a special shoot-around feature. And first off, guys, how was your summer, Kyron? Oh, it was really great. I uh, put in a lot of work, went to uh, Chris Paul camp, put in a lot of work with him, you know, learned a lot from him. It was a good summer. And you, Alpha? I uh, went back home, got a lot of training in with some coaches out there, and then got back here, put in some extra work. You, John mentioned it, but this is the Providence team that's gone to four straight NCAA tournaments. The good news is, Kyron, you return pretty much all the same guys. How easy is that that you're not really working that many new faces in or we're trying to replace guys that aren't on the team anymore? I mean, it's easy in a stance of chemistry. You know, uh, a lot of guys know each other and have played with each other before. So we have a lot of court chemistry, but on the same, uh, at the same time, we put a lot of expectations higher because we have those same people back. We expect more from ourselves. Where are those expectations? Just, uh, we want to play better on the defensive end. You know, we're always a fun, excited transition team. That's always going to happen, but we just want to be a better defensive team, you know, keep other teams to under 60 points. What's it like playing alongside this guy? We saw glimpses of, of different athleticism from you uh, last year, but what's it like to be able to give it off to him and just how much he's progressed? Um, it's really fun when you play with a lot of players who have high basketball IQ, and I think he just has a, a good knack for the game, and uh, it definitely shows, you know, He's very smart. He gets a lot of deflection steals just by, you know, film sessions, learning other teams' plays. Um, he's really locked in out there. It's fun to watch. Every good team needs a good point guard, Alpha. Can you speak to what Kyron means to your group? Definitely. Like you said, uh, Kyron's a floor general. Um, he gets it done on the floor and off the floor with being a leader, and that's what we need in a point guard. And Alpha, going into your sophomore year now, yeah. how have you been able to use the veterans to grow in this Friar system? Their lead is in in incredible. Um, going in every day in practice, uh, you hear their voices. So they're on top of you on in everything, and um, it's great. And how's your confidence level now that you have one season of Big East basketball under your belt? It's high, man. I've been working out all summer long as a team and as an individual, because the better you are, the better the team is. So it's real high. What would you say, in either one could jump in on this, is the strength of this Providence team? I think the strength of our team will be our toughness. You know, Coach Cooley doesn't like to coach soft teams. You know, he'll, he'll be living on the sideline if we play soft. So I think one of the things that will help us out will be our speed and our toughness. And I think it'll be also our mental toughness this year. And how much did you gain that toughness last year when you guys had the start you had in Big East play? And can you tell me, either one of you, what happened for you guys to turn everything around? Um, I'll say just a different level of focus. Okay. Um, we started, we dialed in, focused up on every team that we were playing. Uh, like you said, it started in that film room. Um, magnifying uh, all the other teams and knowing what they do well and what they don't do well. Oh uh, yeah, pick it off what he said. Uh, just, you know, we always knew we had it in us, you know, definitely inside the locker room after we lost some of those games, we were just taught to ourselves even before the coaches came, like, there's no way those type of, we should lose those type of games, and I think it just, we had a, a little bit of a young team, and it just took us a second to figure it out, put it all together. What does it take to win in the Big East? What it takes in, to win in the Big East, you have to play 100% every night. Um, every team is really good. Um, you can't slip up, not even for a play. Uh, the teams are so good, they'll take advantage of it very quickly. Let's go off the court. What's playing on your pregame playlist? The 1942 flow is at Meek Mill right now. Oh, yeah, straight uh, Meek Mill. Yeah. Straight Meek Mill completely. Meek yeah. Mill. What do we think of uh, the newest Taylor Swift stuff? <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Jay on the way here. <laughs> no, absolutely not. No way, no way. What, what about uh, pregame? ritual here at Providence. Is there anything you guys do ever, before every game? Um, yeah, kind of. Uh, a lot of people have, a lot of people have like their own thing, but um, you know, the team, usually we all in one room together for a while the night before the game, and we go out to eat also. What What's getting eaten at the table? Well, it depends where we go. Favorite place to go? Yeah. Fogo, Fogo de Chao. 
BOGO dates out. What do they have? Oh, the Brazilian Steakhouse. Oh, oh the meats yeah. We're going yeah. after the interview. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who are your favorite NBA teams, players that you love to watch? My favorite NBA team is uh, the Thunder, obviously. I used to like KD, can't rock with him anymore. I used to like James Harden, can't do it anymore. So <laughs> by default, it's Westbrook now. That's just um, how it goes. I've always been a Lakers fan. Oh! Growing up, um, Kobe retired. I'm still a Lakers fan, though, die hard. So you're ready for Lonzo? Ready for Lonzo to get in there. Josh Hart, too? Big East guy going out there. Nah, LA. nah. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. No, yeah. I know. I like I just, that. I'm just so from is LA, man. Is there somebody in the NBA that you watch and you try and model your game after? Um, I think a good person for me that I like to watch a lot. I like to watch Chris Paul a lot, and I also like to watch Mike Conley. Uh, he's a smooth lefty. Yep. You know, he's, he's very smart and efficient with his game. What about you, Alpha? Um, LeBron James does it all, man. And that's something I want. I'm striving to do it. Just do it. A do it all guy and an everyday guy. Do you want to show us uh, yeah, I your, see. your best uh, Mike Conley impressions, LeBron James impressions? Um, Give us something. I don't have a Mike Conley impression. Well, just, it might just, just be you. Let's just show up. Let's just show up. You got to give us a LeBron jumper or something. Something. <laughs> something now. You got something. Oh, I'm rusty. <laughs> I can shoot one, but I don't know. I don't know if it's going in yet. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? What you got, Alpha? Oh, there you go, yeah. That's what I was waiting for. What do you think of that workout video that he had? The one over the summer. LeBron was getting talked about where he's in the gym. And Man, it looks like he works out every part of his body. So then why do we, why do we have amazing. Stephen Curry mocking him? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care how they mock him. It's just like he had fun in here. That's the type of people I want to be around. Make, make the game fun, even when you're lifting and stuff. How much basketball are you guys watching through the course of a week, whether it's other college teams, NBA? I watch a lot of basketball. Um, when the NBA season on, uh, we're usually in the locker room as a team, just watching the games and talking mess to each other. Um, oh, yeah. For me, I like when we're in the hotels, like during, like during the season, one of the hotels we stay in locally has two TVs. <laughs> so, I mean, it's two different games on at the same time. You know, just it. try to catch up with all the games, follow the teams that we're going to play in conference and stuff like that. What's your favorite Providence moment? My favorite Providence moment? Um, I'll have to say my favorite Providence moment was the probably the game where I got my first double-double. It was against Stony Brook my freshman year. Um, it was a special moment for me because that was the first time my parents made it out to the East Coast to watch me play. And um, just to be able to do that in front of my dad, I thought it was a pretty cool moment. Now, a lot of people, well, you, from, favorite yeah. moment from last year? Um, maybe that Marquette game, man. Uh, second half, we were just all locked in as a unit and we got the job done. Now, a lot of people, when I ask this question, say Kyron as the answer. But toughest guy to guard in the Big East? The toughest guy to guard in the Big East, um, for me, um, it depends. You know, we guard so many players, but I would say, personally, it's some of my teammates in practice because, you know, it's much more chippy and personal then, and, you know, it's a lot of smack talk going on. So I, I think it's every day when we play hard in practice, a lot of personal rivalries out there. Alpha? I'll definitely say the same thing. Uh, <laughs> practice, man. We compete. And uh, we get under each other just to get each other better. What's the favorite thing of yours that Coach Cooley says or does? An expression, something, facial expression, his movement? Oh, man. Do you guys, I don't know if you guys got vintage footage. Oh, yeah. But my favorite Coach Cooley moment, I want to go back to, I think it was my sophomore year. We were playing Boston College. And he had told us to slow it down. I didn't slow it down. I, I don't know what I was going through. But uh, I passed the ball to Jalen. He traveled right before he shot it. And he, like, do a tantrum we fell on the floor. It was just like funny, bro. It was funny. Alpha? Um, mine would be his favorite saying to me. Alpha, block out. <laughs> That's his favorite. <laughs>